Good morning. Welcome to day 79 of the 100 Day Project. This is day 78. We started it yesterday and I'm going to be working on it again today. So far all I've done is taken some blue and I mixed it with some white to tone it down. And I'm just going to start playing again. I'm not going to do any talking and see what we can get today. I'm finding myself in a situation where I'm going down a path that's not me, so I'm done with this. I don't want to go the path I'm going. I can feel it, so I'm going to change. I have this paint on my palette, and I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to make sure that none of this goes to waste. I want to feel like when I'm done that I did exactly what I was led to do. That's what I want to feel, so that's what I'm going to do. It's funny how a little bit of drying time can change your whole perspective when you come back. I'm out of the, I just want to play, I just want to make a mess, I just want to see where this goes phase, and now I just want to get these done. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I have gone as far as I can with them together. I have been on a mission. <laughs> I, I just need to get these done. The pollen is bothering me. I think that's what, what it is. I just don't have the ability to hang out as long as I'd like to. So the pollen is all over the place right now. I need to rest my throat. So I'm not talking much. Anyway, I'm gonna undo these and I would like to save the tape to reuse. 
So I'm gonna put it on my wall. I'm gonna do this off camera, but that's what I'm doing. I'm taking these apart. Got the tape removed, so we'll pull them apart. I don't have any white paper to put down. Let me get some white paper. Okay, it's not super white, but it's white enough. And I'll show you these individually. You can see everything in the background that I've been doing. It's all coming through in some way. Some of the green from the tree that was originally there, the pinks, the blues, the purples, it's all coming through. So that's pretty. I thought I would do the edges in Paints Gray. I like that color. I think I'm gonna put gesso on first and then I'll go ahead and put the Paints Gray on. I'm just gonna use this Artist Loft gesso. I'll show you real quick, some of the paint dribbled down on the side, which I expected, and some of it is not permanent. So as I go over it with the gesso, it's activating the color. I actually kind of like that color on the side. I might do that. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I'm not sure I'm gonna leave it. They're drying. I had leftover, so I just took the stencil and smeared the gesso all over my book that I keep my kind of like starter little pages. This one wasn't finished, I didn't like it, so I just put this on here, see if I like it. And I love that. I tried to like the side of these, but I don't. So I went ahead and I covered the sides with Payne's Gray on three of them, and I'm gonna do one with you. We're not through with these, I'm just not at my happy place yet. I'm gonna let these dry for a few minutes. I'm gonna take my Liquitex gloss varnish. I'm gonna varnish just the tops. There is stuff on here that will run when activated with water or liquid. And I wanna see what it's gonna do before I put anything else on top. And you can see how it's activated all that color. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna do the other three. I like the color blending in. Okay, I dried these a little bit with the heat tool but I still wanna do a little bit more on the top. I was gonna add some of my black markings on here. I think it's got enough dark on top. I don't need to add my tissue paper writings but I am gonna add some of my white splatters. So I've got some white paint here and my water is dirty with blue so I will spray a little clean water in here, just a little bit. I don't want a lot. So I'll let this dry and then I'll come back. So I've been playing around with the top of these and I've been doing a little doodling and painting and the gloss that I put on here blended the colors but it didn't seal it enough to keep the white paint from blending in. So my paint's getting a little bit of blue in there. I actually like it so I'm not concerned. After I get through painting my flowers, I'm gonna take these outside and spray them, and then I'll gloss on top of that. But I'm not through with my flowers yet, so I'm just doodling and painting in flowers. And I'm leaving it kind of thick, but I really like that. I think that it's so pretty. And this one here only has one little flower so far. Probably that's all I'm gonna do. This one has one, it's not done, and it may be the only one I give it. This one doesn't have any, and I'm tempted to leave it because I really like this one. I like this area here really well. I just think this is pretty. I don't think I want to put anything on it. So all I did was take a Posca pen. Let's do another little one on here. This is just golden acrylic titanium white, and I'm putting paint in the doodle areas. I'm leaving some doodles visible, and I'll probably go over it again. So I like this little grouping right here. I am gonna put another coat of the white on and I'm gonna bring some doodles in and then I'm gonna spray it. Then I'll seal it again. All right, these have been sprayed and sealed. The paint's still drying though. 
that I added on top of the seal. And I added some marks with my Posca pen and my Faber-Castell pit pen. I went around the stems and the flowers. I'm not doing any pencil lines because it won't show up. It won't stay on the gloss. But I am going to try these enamel accents. I'm going to see if they still work. I don't know. I've had them so long. I don't know if they still work. And I'm just going to see if I can write a little scribble here. I don't know if I need to shake it or not. Do not shake. It will create air bubbles. <laughs> okay. Well, too late now. All right, I'll let this dry and see if it shows up white because it sure doesn't look white right now. You know what, it may be all the whites down at the bottom. I may have to do it again. Okay, this isn't working because all the white has been clogged down here and I can't shake it and get it to blend up. So this is gonna dry. I can see the raised writing. Um, maybe I can take a um, stamp pad that's white and kind of gloss over it and see if it'll pick up the white. Otherwise, what I'm going to do is use my white India ink to do my writing after this is dry and it won't smear. Oh, I forgot to tell you too, I took a little bit of gold paint and I put it in the center of the flower just to bring out a little highlight. Okay, I tried the white stamp pad, wiping over it and it doesn't pick up the color. So before I try my ink, I really don't want ink, I'm going to try these scribbles that I've got. I knew I had some white somewhere that would possibly have a chance of working. So I'm gonna try that. Oh, yes. All right, we are done. We are done. Where's my cap? We're not done till I find the, okay, there it is. <laughs> Nobody leaves till we find the cap. All right. I am done. The only thing I'm going to do, and I can't do it until everything finishes drying, is I'm going to fix my lines on my flowers. I'm going to bring them more down into the flower. They kind of stop short up here at the top, and I want to bring them all the way down, but the, the paint's still too wet, so I'll be doing that. But here's all of our canvases. We're finally done with these. They were a lot of fun to do, although I really took a few twists and turns on them. I'm very happy with them now, much happier than when I was trying to go down a path that didn't suit me. Okay, so when these are dry, I'm gonna take my Posca pen and I'm gonna go around the flower again and bring those lines further down. That's the only thing I'm gonna change. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great whatever it is. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. I added a few more white drops on my canvas. So that has to dry.